Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give you a quick overview on how to play the integers version of our MathNook boxing game. Okay, when you first start the menu, I'm sorry, when you first start the game, this is the menu you'll see. That's better. Um, now, if you click this button here, this will take you to the Spanish version of this game, and it's on our sister site, MathNookEspanol.com. This button, if you click it, it toggles the sound on and off. The walkthrough button will take you to the uh, walkthrough page on MathNook that has this video in it. More games will take you to our website. Let's go ahead and click play and we'll see a quick overview with the uh, written instructions. Now, this is the game <coughs> excuse me. This is the game uh, screen that you'll see once we start playing. But basically it's showing you do that you're gonna have a uh, math problem involving positive and negative integers and it's going to have an equal sign here and you need to choose which one of these buttons contains the answer. If you choose the right answer then you'll throw a punch taking your opponent's health down and if you get it one if you get it happen to get it wrong then your opponent will throw a punch taking your health down. Now the uh, match is over when either your health or your opponent's health uh, reaches uh, gets empty at which time either you or your opponent will be knocked out. Now the object of the game is to beat all the opponents, go all the way through the increasingly uh, the, the opponents I guess get a little bit harder to beat but they're really not too tough as you'll see and then the last opponent is Einstein and once you beat, that, beat him then you will have won the game and the championship. Now, you've got two other items here. You've got this boxing glove, and as time goes on, this moves down towards the bottom. And once it reaches the bottom, uh, and you haven't answered a question, then your opponent will throw a punch. Now, every time you answer a question, right or wrong, then the, this is reset and it goes back up to the top. So really, you've got quite a bit of time to answer a question, so there's really not too much of a rush. Now, the KO meter, the knockout meter, shows up at the start of each level and it's full and its level goes down and once it reaches the bottom it goes away. During the time while the KO or knockout uh, bar is on there, if you get three punches in and you'll knock out your opponent, and really this is just a quicker way to win each level. So really you should, when a level starts you want to concentrate on getting three problems answered correctly and as you do, as you answer each question, you can't see it but there's three circles here and as you answer each one they'll light up green and when you get the third one they'll light up three times you'll knock out your opponent and you'll move on to the next player okay I'll give you a, a quick overview you can actually see the game in action and you can see this going the boxing glove going down we're both full health I'll let it reach the bottom and you'll see my opponent here who happens to be Mr. Tutu which you'd think a player okay there he goes a player that uh, shows up in the boxing ring with a tutu on would be pretty tough but in fact he is not that tough and the easiest of the players and negative three minus one is negative four you see I'm throwing some punches there and the KO meter is gone so I can't do that anymore the next opponent I'll try to knock him out quickly and you can see his health is down and let me go ahead this should knock him out there we go that's easy one okay I'm gonna try to get the negative one, let's see if I can do it, negative one, still plenty of time on the KO meter and this will knock him out. And so see he had quite a bit of health left but because I threw three punches in um, before the KO meter went away um, I was able to knock him out as I did that, that player. And as you can see the Problems aren't too tough, but they're getting a little bit harder. Now they bring in the mathematicians. No longer do we have player like Mr. Tutu. Okay, we got 13. There we go. Uh, 13 and knock him out. And now we got Newton, and you can see that uh, problems aren't that difficult, but they're a little bit more hard. They're a little bit harder. I don't know if you can tell or not. Anyways, um, we've got. Uh, other versions of this game, we have other versions coming out. The versions we have out now are subtraction, addition, multiplication, division. Uh, we also have 
a, this, well, in this Energis version. We also have the regular game, which is a comparison game, a number comparison game. These games will be available soon for Android on free, in case uh, for free, in case you want to play those on your uh, phone or tablet. Um, and we will be coming out with more versions. And if you want to check and see what math, what uh, versions we have, or actually find them, just go to mathnook.com. In the search box found on every page, you can go ahead and type in mathnook space boxing and it will show you a listing of all the uh, math nut games along with these uh, the walkthrough pages and uh, you might want to keep checking back because we'll be adding some more and to find the apps you can either go to the Android uh, the Google Play Store and, and type in math nut space boxing or just math nut and you can see all the Android games we have and uh, most of them are free um, well, all the math and the boxing games for free, and, and we have other apps too. Anyways, um, I hope this video's helped some, and you can see I got knocked out because I was not playing there towards the end, and the game's over. Um, I hope you have fun playing with the game, playing these games, and thanks for watching.